great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Alabama Crimson Tide. The Crimson Tide should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. Number one, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Second, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Coming inside. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to feed the low block. Rucker receives the pass. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Swanson, pump fakes. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Drains the shot. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Bowen receives the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Trying to draw the foul. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Step out on that screener. Knocks it down. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the outside, Swanson handles the pass. He lets it go. Swanson was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Down inside, the power forward handles the feed. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Trying to feed the low block. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. High post flasher is open. He throws it up from downtown. There was no doubt about that one. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Swanson comes up with it. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high rising. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. They go into the low block. From the baseline. Buried it. trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Up. Easy one. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Take that to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. For two. That was nice. Time to pick up the defense here now. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Strips the ball. High post screen. High post flashes. Beasley is feeling good. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Takes the pass in the paint. Controlling the ball. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. They work it around the perimeter. Launches a three. He drains the bucket. On the outside. Boy. Terrible execution on offense. Full court pass. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He gets it up the floor with a quick push. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. He drains the shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. The skip pass is picked off. He unloads a three. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now.
I strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. They work the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here's a double team. Morton picks up the defensive foul. Third team foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. This is the first. Second shot, no good. Had a momentary look from three-point land. That's been moved, not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post-play because they were really anticipating the spin. From left of the circle, he gets the shot to fall. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Elsewhere. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Way off target. Looking for contact. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. around the perimeter great defensive play anticipating well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action there's the trap Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post Both teams looking to get things going here. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. He pulls the trigger. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Gets it to fall. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with his death. Where's he going? I think they're trying to make a statement.
post player flashing. He puts up the tray. He gets the bucket. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. it up and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot it's stolen here he comes defensively on him on the low block Dick I'll tell you three-quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball Aaron. Georgia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick they're really on a nice run right here Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They run it up into transition on the outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. It's good. That's a seven-zip run. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Oh, yes. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart great play to take that to the basket now they're working around the perimeter way out on top controlling the ball stolen away they don't get back in a hurry goes up for two perfectly executed There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? They work the perimeter. Let's it fly. Sinks the shot. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes. The student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. He strips him clean. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He up fakes. Working around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Way off target. He goes for three. He nails the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
Blocked. Nice job defensively. Gave it up. Tries for two. And off the mark. Pushing that basketball. Steal. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket, the land. Isn't it great, Brad? I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Fakes the shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Goes up for two. He hits the shot. They're working around the arc. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul at all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Both free throws go. Gave it up for two. Tickles a twine. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Opportunity for two for one. Intercepted. Pushes it up. With a deep pass. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Takes the shot. He nails the bucket. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. On the outside. Kick it back outside. He makes a nice shot fake. Looking for the foul. Can't get the shot to go. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Bulldogs trail by five. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Dick's guard of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's going to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and now the cover piece becomes aggressive. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Free throw line. Number 
opportunity. He makes it. Moving it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Up and inside. Tightly guarded. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. He takes the shot off the baseline. He gets the bucket to fall. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top with a great block. Steals the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert, get the number game going. Up fake. Stolen ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He looks for three. He buries it. That's a 9-0 run. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. He puts up the three ball. Got it. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. From the top of the key. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Intercepts it. 
Working it around the perimeter. Good job defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They're working around the perimeter. Unloads a three. Georgia have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That's worth another look. Screen so effective that screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to get the D to bite. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Let's see the replay. Shot this trip. Perfectly executed. The Bulldogs are up by four. They work the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. And they get the turnover. And one. Are you kidding me? He threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with a cheerleader. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. This is home court advantage at its best. The crowd, the students, everyone is feeling good. Tries for two. Great shot. Picked off. Gave it up. Pump fakes. There's the fake. Double team now, bad angle. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart nice high post screen 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He is going to the line. He got it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Like a nylon, NBN. Dribble gives it up for the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. What a sensational block! He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Intercepted. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Takes it off him. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Off the mark. Buried it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. It's the second shot. Picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Easy one. Here's a double team. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews. And what she's got in store for us here. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. For two, perfectly executed.
Takes away the pass. Number one is trying to get the crowd involved now. You know, Brad, I think he wants the crowd to support him on his defensive possession. There's a double team waiting there. Makes the shot. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. It's crazy in here, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. The lane. The Crimson Tide are ahead by eight. It takes some pride on the defensive end. the circle. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Did they really need to get something going in a hurry here? Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. He makes the block. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. For two, off the mark. Picked out of the air. Gave it up for the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Count the dunk plus one for the foul. Hey, congratulations, baby. You've been posterized. Bowen goes to the line for the first time. Rims off. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. And they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. They get out on the break. Goes up for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Three shots. Makes the first shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Shot is not good. He can't get one to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Here's the replay. For two, he's money with the shot. The Crimson Tide are ahead by 13. to get it inside to the low block. 
Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Gave it up. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. but so is his coach. Up and inside. Lobs it inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Set in from the top of the key. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He takes the three, drains it. Team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Goes for the deep one. He shows the sweet touch. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. He got up in the face-up position in the post. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. The defense isn't giving an inch. Hey, they're making him take the tough shots. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And the clock's 
first out with a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He makes the front end of the one and one. for a good shot. Looks at the three. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestor. Horrible shot selection. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brian, Gordon Blay is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. Timeout's call. And the coach wants to talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. the defense here now and the ball goes out of play the deck the shots seem to be dropping for him right now well, I'll tell you one thing. they're dropping and you better have good productivity out of your front court when you have that balance inside outside you got a great chance to win and you have to have post players that are going to make big plays ten on the shot clock Shots there if he wants it. And a momentary look from three-point land. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Just hoping for the best. Rings out. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Alabama wins this game in convincing fashion. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.